Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. We've been talking about NEO all month on this channel, and now as we approach the end of the month, we are coming to the peak event for NEO in January 2018, and that is the, the NEO Developers Conference being held in San Francisco. The countdown is on, just six hours remaining until everyone in the NEO community gets together in one place to discuss everything that's happening in the NEO smart economy. So we've gone through this before, but the event will be held in San Francisco and the speaker list is quite impressive from Da Hong Fei, all the people from City of Zion, the key developers in the community will all be there in one place. So if you want to keep up with what's happening and you are not at the DevCon event, like I am not, unfortunately, you can go to Neo News Today. I'm on the Neo News Today Twitter site right now, and they have a post down here from yesterday that they are going to be keeping up with a live blog. Let's take a look at this. Um, pleased to present Neo Talk at DevCon. Um, interviews there will be youtube youtubers that are covering this crypto bud chico crypto crypto love ylgv they're all going to simulcast on their youtube channels and there will also be this live blog uh, neonewstoday.com slash neotalk i will link this in the description below if you want to keep up with everything that is happening at devcon today and tomorrow so if we take a, a look at the agenda for what is happening today, there are so many exciting projects, a couple of which I've talked on this channel, talked about on this channel before. Um, so I just want to, to hit on one right now that I haven't covered in the past, and that is the O3 Ozone Neo mobile wallet for iOS and Google Play. So I have covered a lot of wallets on this channel for all sorts of different coins. And this is one of the most interesting ones because this is a, a mobile wallet. So all of us in the crypto space are familiar with the fact that pretty much to do most things, it requires being on a desktop computer or a laptop to really interface and, and be able to use all of the different tools that are available to the crypto community. Yet we live in this mobile friendly world where everyone is dependent on their phone. And so it makes sense that going forward in 2018 and the future of crypto, things will start to migrate to mobile. And so it's really exciting to see the NEO community starting to adopt this early. And so that is exactly what the founders of O3 are trying to do. So over here, uh, O3 Labs has a Twitter page um, at O3 underscore labs uh, so that you can find information about it there. And let's go over to their actual website, which is O3.network. I will also link this in the description below. So this is what they call the mobile gateway to the Neo smart economy. So this is available on iOS. So they, they had an issue where this was taken off of the App Store. So now you can only use Ozone if you are using Test Flight. So this is a sort of a, a beta version um, where you have to have the Test Flight app installed and then you can uh, be able to run O3, the O3 wallet through Test Flight. There are a number of crypto apps that have to be run through through test flight so this is not unique to ozone uh, as apple is trying to become more and more comfortable with the crypto space so if you click on this link all you have to do is enter your information here and you can get beta access and then once you're in your test flight app you'll be able to download and install the o3 neo wallet so it's also available and supported on google play 
So rather than show you my phone, uh, they actually have um, here on, on a bit of an angle, but uh, a nice example of everything that can be done on the app. So there is a cold storage vault where you can see access to your Neo, to your gas, you can withdraw out of your vault. Um, you also have, you can track um, the history over time, uh, an interface that looks much like what you would see on the Coinbase app. Um, so you also have the O3 wallet. You can claim gas within the wallet, which I think is a, a pretty neat feature given that, of course, the, the Neon wallet and a few exchanges allow you to claim your gas, uh, but this is an, a nice feature to be able to have. So of course you see Neo and gas within the wallet. You also see Net5 tokens. So here they have Deep Brain Chain, um, QLC, RPX, that are all um, supported natively. This is very similar to what you see in the Neon wallet right now, but you also have the ability to add additional Net5 tokens onto your list. So as this list continues to grow and grow, that can be supported here in the wallet. And of course, you can always send any Net5 token to a NEO address and it will be available there and you can find it through NEO Tracker even if you can't see it in your wallet. So there is a QR code if you want to be able to use that for your address or you have your address directly here. You do have the ability to import your private keys if you want to use an address. If you, For example, if you want to use the same address that you have on your Neon wallet and you want to have mobile access to that. You can also, um, I'm going to skip over here to here on the right hand column where you have watch only addresses. So say you wanted to just be able to keep track of what was happening in your Neon wallet while you're on the go with your mobile device. You can do that and have a watch only address instead of actually having full control to the point where something could actually be transferred directly from your O3 wallet. So there is a portfolio function so that you can keep track, uh, have a nice chart here looking at different time links, five months, 15 months, uh, or I guess these are minutes, five minutes, 15 minutes, one day, all um, has touch ID support. I do not know if this uh, has uh, face recognition support yet um, for, for the newest Apple phone. Um, so I'd be curious if, if any users of um, have have tried that with the O3 wallet, please let me know in the comments below. Um, you have transaction history, have the ability to send and receive within the wallet so you can put copy and paste um, Neo wallet addresses in here. Basically what this is, is you have a fully functional mobile wallet and this is just awesome to see for the Neo economy as this is a, a, just a key feature to be able to make this really an integrated feature that users of NEO um, will, will need as we continue to move forward. So the team here, uh, pretty lean and mean. Uh, it looks like there are just two co-founders here. Um, so um, Andre is a, a Stanford computer science uh, student um, and these guys will be at the NEO um, DevCon event. So excited to hear what the community thinks about what they're doing after they take the stage today. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you downloaded this? Do you think mobile wallets are th the way to go? Um, and if you're at DevCon, Please let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what's going on. Really excited about what we're going to hear over the next couple of days. And I will definitely be, be watching and hopefully we'll have more updates uh, for you guys in the days to come. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Command.